you know, Alan never, ever wanted to be gay. I know that. He cried about it when he did come out. He did not want to be gay. And it wasn't because of the gayness. It was because of the, he knew the abuse. And he was a lovely child. And he got on with everybody. You know, I didn't see. But he was being bullied and I didn't know that. And um, I didn't know the extent of it either right up until his death, you know. But he would never tell me who it was. He used to say, it doesn't matter, Mum. And I would say, but I need to know. And he'd say, but what, what can you do about it? I had called down to the house that he was renting and I got no answer and I assumed that he probably went to Derry or something. And uh, then my daughter went back after I left and into the dark with her boyfriend had got on a window and Alan was hanged. He was hung. He was coming up on his 33rd birthday, you know, and that was, that was uh, really and truly like a nuclear bomb going off in my life and every, all the family's life. I never wanted to talk about his letter because it was private just to us. And it said that on it, don't open this, it's for family only. And, it, you know, it said that being gay has all but ruined my life. Now, that's a very strong sent, uh, words for anybody to take on board. You know, when I think of all the children that I hear um, opposition talking about, it's all about the children. What about my child? What about other people's children that are gay? You know, the way they're being treated, what's this message going to say if it's a no? It's, it's just devastating for me to think about that it can go that way.